I'm hoping that Hello. you haven't heard of a band that I want to talk about today. And it's Here Come the Mummies, as opposed to the mummies. <laughs> You're obviously the, mummies the new guy. I'm supposed to introduce you. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, you see, they, nobody heard that. Cat's out of the bag. Okay, <laughs> but good. I love the human element. Hey, Thank Fred, you. you did that once. Everybody did that once. Yeah, that's why Fred's laughing so hard. This is episode 37 of Fine Music, okay? And I was just going to say, hey, got a new member on board here. He's full of surprises. Zimbabwe, okay, lay that surprise on us again. Here come the mummies, as opposed to the mummies. The mummies was like a 60s garage band that wrapped themselves up in uh, uh, rags and stuff. But this band is uh, more of a present day phenomenon. Uh, they started recording in 2002, and their most recent album was released in 2016. Now, this band, Here Come the Mummies, is based in Nashville, and apparently they disguise themselves on stage because they have contractual obligations. Apparently, their studio musicians, and several of them have won Grammys. Um, here's the current names of the current band members. You know, we have on guitar lead vocals, Mummy Cast, drums and vocals is Eddie Mummy, <laughs> keyboards and vocals is Spaz, uh, bass and vocals, KW Tut, bass, the pole. Uh, then there's Midnight Mummy, the flu, Ra, High Priest of Death, Dr. Mummy Yo, Mummy Highlander, and Mother Load. So we're talking <laughs> about uh, a real, really rich funk band, kind of like Tower of Power. Back in the old days, big horn section and from the videos I've seen online, I would really like to see this band in person because it looks like they have a lot of fun on stage. And um, they're, they're, the way they enter the, the arena and the way they take the stage is also really interesting. They come in pounding on drums and singing this uh, rah, rah, rah thing. And they get up there and it looks like they have a really good time. And I, I would really like to see them in person, but I don't think they've played anywhere west of the Mississippi. I'm not sure. <laughs> so a lot of fun. And, you know, if you like Tower of Power, you'll like Here Come the Mummies. Oh, that's you. a great recommendation right there. Thank you. So that album is from 2016, Here Come the Mummies. The album right? from 2016 is called A Blessing and a Curse. Oh. <laughs> The other 2016 <laughs> album they have is called Underground. Uh, 2013, they have Cryptic. 2012, Introducing the Tiny Tuts. 2011, Bed, Bath, and Beyond. 2010, <laughs> Carnal Carnival. 2008, Single Entendre. 2003, yeah. Everlasting Party. And 2002, Terrifying Funk from Beyond the Grave. Is it just me or does this band sound very prolific? <laughs> uh, you know, they are very prolific and you look at their performances online, you know, the live performances are recorded really well and it's, you know, turn it up and the neighbors will like it too. <laughs> All right. Fabulous. If there are no disagreements, we shall declare episode 37 finny. Yep. Thank, Thank you, you, Jim. You're a Thank wonderful you. addition. Thanks. Yeah.